What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video. Today real quick I want to share with you guys something different. Today I have here the cheapest mechanical 60% keyboard here. I paid for this keyboard around $24.99 and the shipping was so fast like I literally ordered this keyboard and these keycaps uh, yesterday around midnight and I received it today around like uh, six um or yeah six or seven pm now yeah the shipping was really fast all right so the exact model i have here mage gi uh, mk mini now this keyboard is really cheap so i know for a fact this keyboard um, maybe switches are not all that great the keycaps are not maybe all that perfect and the build quality obviously not going to be perfect now, why did I pick up the cheapest 60% uh, mechanical keyboard? You know, I could have just spent like $50 or $100 and get something really good. Now, that's my first 60% mechanical keyboard. I normally use full-size mechanical keyboards. As you guys can see, I have one here. And my last keyboard, the smallest keyboard I was using last time was the 10 key less from HyperX uh, Oli. Uh, FPS Pro and that keyboard stopped working suddenly so I needed a detachable keyboard so anytime like if I'm uh, reviewing any product or anything and I want to use this desk I can easily just unplug the keyboard and I can use this space now with my full size keyboard here I can do that and also the cable is not detachable so this keyboard is basically a placeholder so the reason why I say placeholder now I will try this 60% size, the form factor, and if I do like this keyboard size, I'll go with something more expensive. Now, today real quick, I'll do a quick unboxing and show you guys what this keyboard comes with and how this keyboard perform, like we'll test the key and stuff. I'll show you guys the blue uh, switch this keyboard comes with i believe this one also comes with red switches i'm not sure but i have the white version here uh this one also comes in like black version also and the price is still same i also bought some keycaps from amazon now these keycaps goes for around 17.99 and these are pvt keycaps so pvt keycaps are really good quality keycaps and the reason people pick up these pvt keycaps uh, basically for long-term use you don't have to worry about uh, getting these uh, shiny spot on the keycaps so yeah PPT keycaps are really good now let me show you guys how this keyboard look and then we will do some uh, test without these uh, aftermarket keycaps and then we'll install the keycap and we'll do some test all right All right, so it does come with a key puller, as you guys can see here. And also comes with a manual, okay? And what I really like about this keyboard, this budget keyboard also comes with a detachable USB-C to USB-A cable, okay? Type-C to Type-A cable. And this cable is pretty long. Oh, this cable is really long, guys. Like, wow. Maybe like four and a half feet. Wow. Nice. And the build quality is pretty good also. Okay, doesn't feel cheap. And now let me show you guys the keyboard. As you guys can see, the keyboard right here, this thing is really, really small. Like, wow, <laughs> really small. Uh, almost looks like a big cell phone, right? No, I'm just kidding. You guys can hear. Yeah, it doesn't sound all that great. Like you can tell these are some cheap, uh, blue switches you can see back of the keyboard right here 
you guys can see the thickness okay does come with some stands okay there we go pretty good and here you have the USB type C port okay you can discharge it anytime now plastic bill so don't accept anything crazy from this keyboard it does have like flex and yeah it's, it's, it's a budget $24.99 keyboard so you will see all kind of uh, cheap stuff in this keyboard like you know but the reason I bought it I wanted to see how long I can use this keyboard like how long these uh, switches will last so if you guys want weekly update on this keyboard you guys can follow my uh, Twitter handle and you guys can also um, you know subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll make an update video on this channel and I want to see how long I can use this keyboard so from today uh, I will use this keyboard for everything for video editing for gaming so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned now let me plug this keyboard and uh, you guys can see Now real quick, let me show you guys this uh, LED real quick. So if I press and hold the FN and this button right here, I can actually change the color uh, mode, okay? So you guys can see. Nice. The only problem, this keyboard only comes with one color. So all you get like, um, like light blue or like white, and that's about it. You can uh, make it brighter or dimmer. You can turn it all the way, okay, like off. You can turn it off and I really like that. And you can turn it on all the way and all the way bright. Now. You can also use the arrow key. You basically have to hold the FN uh, key right here. And then you can use the, um, basically W, S, A, D will turn into arrow key, okay? So W is upper, upper key, S is lower key, A is right, uh, left, and D is right, all right? And then you have your uh, F1 will also work if you hold, press and hold the FN, then your F1, F2, F3, all those uh, keys will work. Now, let me change the keycaps real quick. So I'll pull all these keycaps out and replace with the ones I have here. Uh, so the brand NPKC, okay. And also comes with a uh, keycap puller all right guys so let me install these keycaps now as you guys can see i have all these uh pvt keys here and these are the original one so let's jump in and uh, change all these uh, keycaps You guys can see uh, the blue switches here. Even the frame is plastic, so basically everything plastic.
So you guys really want my thoughts on this keyboard, like what I really think? Okay, I'll give you my thoughts on someone who is on budget, all right? This keyboard is obviously not for someone who is looking to do multiple stuff with this keyboard, like professional gaming or workstation use purpose. This keyboard is basically for someone who is just maybe getting their feet wet on the 60% uh, you know, keyboard world. This keyboard will be pretty good because this keyboard right here is not going to break your bank. I only paid $42.85 for a budget 60% mechanical keyboard. Looks really nice as you guys can see with some PVT keycaps, $42.85. Now I know this keyboard is really cheap. Maybe the LED will stop working. I don't know. Maybe a couple of the switches will stop working. But keep one thing in mind. These PBT keycaps, I can always use these keycaps on another 60% keyboard, mechanical keyboard. So I don't really care. Like I'm not wasting any money on these keycaps right here. Like that's good investment. So I will use this keyboard for one month and I will see how well this keyboard works from today. And I'll give you guys like weekly update. Now, if you guys want, uh, you know, keep up with all these updates and stuff, make sure, make sure you follow my Twitter account, Tectonal Life, and also make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel, Tectonal Life. And I'll give you guys weekly update and maybe I'll make an update video. I personally think this keyboard for $24 is pretty good for a budget gamer, you know. I was gaming with this keyboard uh, for almost like half hour. I was playing Fortnite. The latency is pretty good. There is no delay or nothing. So I can recommend this keyboard. All right, guys, there will be links in the video's description for these budget keyboard and these PVT keycaps. So if you guys want to, you know, buy uh, same keyboard and you know go with the same keycaps you can check the link in the video's description and see you guys next one